Continuum's H2 quantum computer has achieved a significant breakthrough by producing non-abelian topological quantum matter and braiding its anyones. This marks the first instance of such an accomplishment in history. The development and manipulation of non-abelian anyones in a controlled manner is a crucial milestone in achieving topological qubits, resulting in a major advancement towards universal fault-tolerant quantum computing. We are thrilled to share that Quantinuum has made a significant stride towards achieving fault-tolerant quantum computing. This accomplishment has been made possible by the release of our system model H2, which is the most advanced quantum computer ever constructed. We at Quantinuum are immensely proud of this achievement, and we look forward to continuing our work towards the future of quantum computing. After extensive pre-launch collaboration with a multitude of worldwide partners, Quantinuum is proud to announce the official debut of the H2 quantum processor, which is fueled by Honeywell. The controlled creation and manipulation of non-abelian anyones necessitated the launch of this processor. The precise management of non-abelian anyones has long been viewed as the means to utilize topological qubits for a quantum computer that is fault-tolerant. Tony Utley, the president and COO of Quantinuum declared, we are now embarking on a new era of quantum computing with our updated system. The H2 processor presents a unique prospect for significant achievements that were once beyond our grasp. Additionally, the creation of the H2 processor marks a pivotal advancement in the journey towards an omniscient, fault-tolerant quantum computer. This display serves as a compelling evidence of the efficiency of our H-series hardware roadmap, and more importantly, reaffirms our goal of empowering our customers to solve problems that were once considered insurmountable for traditional computers. The societal impact of this technological breakthrough is astounding, and we eagerly anticipate the ways in which it will revolutionize the world. Scientists from Quantinuum, in partnership with Harvard University and Caltech, conducted one of the earliest experiments on hydrogen molecules. This experiment revealed a new state of matter which is referred to as a non-abelian topologically ordered state. This particular field of study has been a focal point for some time within Quantinuum, with the core team led by Dr. Henrik Dreyer, based in Munich. The H2 processor's unique characteristics and its precision control capabilities allowed for the development of the topological state, which can be viewed as a qubit possessing limited gate capacity. This state was created in a manner that enables its properties to be accurately regulated in real time, thus revealing the ability to generate, manipulate and measure non-abelian anyones through braiding and annihilation. According to a preprint of an in-depth scientific paper published today and made available on ArcSeef, the work of Quantinuum is detailed. This work is groundbreaking and opens up new and thrilling fields of research within condensed matter physics, which would have been impossible to explore using a classical computer alone. In conjunction with other QEC codes, which can be found here and here, this accomplishment demonstrates that it is only a matter of time before the Quantinuum hardware showcases the most efficacious approach to fault tolerance. Ilias Khan, founder and chief product officer at Quantinuum, stated that the primary objective of their research is fault-tolerant quantum computing. They continue to demonstrate and maintain their position as a world leader in quantum computing through their tangible advancements. Their latest achievement is the development and manipulation of non-abelian anyones to produce topological qubits. This accomplishment highlights the ingenuity of brilliant minds when granted exceptional resources. This breakthrough could potentially be a pivotal moment for the quantum computing industry, akin to the invention of the transistor. It is noteworthy that they employed a quantum computer as the tool to create topological qubits, which is a significant advancement towards fault-tolerant quantum computing. This achievement also reinforces their long-standing belief that quantum systems are best researched and created by other quantum systems, as Feynman originally proposed in his widely cited remarks on the foundations of quantum computing. We are eagerly anticipating the opportunity to expand upon this essential advancement, he stated. The potential for progress within the industry is thrilling, and we have additional significant achievements on the horizon that we are eager to unveil to the world. The H2, 
The next iteration in the series of quantum computers from Quantinuum boasts of 32 high fidelity qubits that are fully connected. The new architecture of the H2 is an improvement upon the linear design of its predecessor, the system model H1. The ion trap of the H2 has an oval shape that resembles a racetrack. During a demonstration, Quantinuum exhibited the H2's impressive capability by showcasing a 32 qubit GHZ state. This state is a non-classical one where all 32 qubits are entangled globally and it is the largest such state on record. The design of the system model H2 is unique in that it uses a racetrack configuration. This allows each qubit within the H2 to have direct pairwise entanglement with any other qubit within the system. This all-to-all -all connectivity is particularly useful in the short term as it reduces errors in algorithms. In the long term, it creates new opportunities for efficient error-correcting codes that are critical to the future advancement of quantum computing. In conjunction with the successful demonstration of controlled non-abelian anyones, this integrated success is a significant milestone in the storage and processing of topological quantum information. Furthermore, the latest design is a significant advancement in showcasing the ion trap device's capacity for scaling. The demonstration of the quantum charge coupled device, QCCED, architecture's scalability potential is evident in H2, which not only allows for simultaneous qubit number scaling while preserving performance, but also includes novel technologies that facilitate scaling in future generations. H2 is designed akin to first generation systems, allowing for future upgrades during its product lifecycle, which will enhance both qubit number and quality. The system model H2, an enhancement of Quantinuum's H-series incorporates trademark features that distinguish it from other quantum computing systems. These features include all-to-all -all connectivity, qubit reuse, conditional logic, mid-circuit measurement, high-fidelity qubit operations that lead the industry, and extended coherence times. Furthermore, the H1's impressive performance gains, as evidenced by its repeated quantum volume QV records, are expected to persist with H2. H2 is introduced with a quantum volume 65,536, surpassing the prior record announced in February of this year with H11. The H2 has been utilized in various experimental studies by numerous organizations and companies and has produced significant outcomes in addition to its headline breakthrough. JP Morgan Chase's Global Technology Applied Research Division has recently released a scholarly paper regarding the design of quantum optimization algorithms for portfolio optimization. The findings from this paper were tested on H2 during early access and the numerical results were successfully validated. The Machine Learning Division of Quantinuum presented a novel heuristic optimization method that can efficiently solve optimization issues with minimal quantum resources. You can find the most recent research studies in separate technical papers available here. Additionally, a published paper dedicated to outlining the characteristics of H2, as well as providing benchmarking and comparisons with other hardware can be found here. This paper also contains details on the world record-breaking entanglement. All technical papers will undergo the scientific peer review process. Quantinuum offers cloud-based access to the H2, which is currently available. Starting in June, Microsoft Azure Quantum will also offer access to the H2. Moreover, NVIDIA's QQuantum SDK provides a noise-informed emulator for the H2. This emulator includes optimized libraries and tools which can help speed up simulation workflows for quantum computing. The CEO of Quantinuum, Dr. Rajib Hazra, recently made a statement regarding the progress made in quantum computing. According to Hazra, individuals who believed that quantum computers would not be able to advance human knowledge and scientific exploration for a long time were mistaken. He also stated that a group of world-renowned scientists utilized H2 which is Quantinuum's quantum computer, to achieve an unprecedented feat. Hazra expressed his excitement and said that H2 is a game-changer for Quantinuum. He further explained that their second-generation quantum computer, which is powered by the H2 quantum processor and its software, currently delivers the best performance in the industry. Moreover, it lays the groundwork for fault-tolerant quantum computing, which has the potential to significantly expedite the path towards advanced quantum computing. 
Quantinuum is a self-contained quantum computing company with the largest global reach. Honeywell Quantum Solutions and Cambridge Quantum merged to create this entity, leveraging the former's superior hardware and the latter's middleware and applications. Their approach is rooted in scientific rigor and enterprise ingenuity, accelerating the development of quantum computing and applications in fields such as finance, optimization, chemistry and cybersecurity. Their primary objective is to devise quantum solutions that are both practical and scalable in addressing the most urgent global problems such as climate change, energy, logistics and health. The company's staff numbers over 480 people, including more than 350 scientists and engineers, and maintains eight locations throughout the United States, Europe and Japan. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.